Hey guys, welcome to today's video, and in this video I will be showing you on how to do a gameplay sub UI. If you don't want to learn anything, then the model is in the description, you can download it there. And if you want to learn something, then just watch the tutorial and maybe in the future you can do it yourself. Starting now, I will add a screen UI in the starter UI, and in that screen UI I will add a frame. And this frame go into properties and then size I will do a 0 0.1 and here also 0 0.1 basically what this is doing is that um, it always looks the same size on every device if it's not with a period then it just won't and mobile players won't see it the way that you do it and it's probably going to be bigger than their own screen. So always do a period uh, most of the times. And in that frame I will add a text button. This will be the button where the players can buy the game pass. And also don't forget to give it a color, the frame. I'm gonna give mine the color something like this, this looks nice, and also the same thing with the button, again do the size to 0 0.1, 0 0.1 and 0 0.1, so that it always looks the same on every device, and in my frame I'm gonna add a UI corner that gives the frame some corners and I'm gonna do the same to the text button again add a UI corner and now it looks good I think I'm gonna give my text button a color a green something like this I'm not gonna do too much because it's more of a tutorial and not a stylist contest I don't know if I said that right doesn't matter I'm gonna delete the text in the text button you don't have to do that but what I like to do is add a text label into the frame and then set the background transparency transparency to 1 and again do the size to 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 so why I do this is that because of a button you only have some limited um, options what you can do with the text and with your text label you can do like really a lot I've changed the text color to white and I'm gonna do a text scaled also font face I'm gonna use I'm gonna use Redoka 1 how is it? Redoka 1 I don't know how to say it anyways and now I'm just gonna put the text in the middle. What I'm gonna do now is just duplicate the text and change the text color. You can double click on the text to do that and white up. Also you can uh, change it in the properties right here. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger so that it looks like this. And again, I'm gonna change the text to uh, my game pass is gonna cost like 199 robux so I'm gonna do this now select both and here I'll put it it's a bit too small my frame so I have to uh, make it bigger again put it how I want it to be and here only like two of them will fit I have to put its index up for my text label and it's right here in the properties I'm gonna do the same with this one I'm very sorry I did something and I've not recorded it but basically what I've did is add three mate labels into the frame and change the size of them in the properties to 0.1 again and then adjust it and then I have um, put my image in there so that is everything that you have to do 
and then I have put a small description in here, the name of the game pass. Also, I'm gonna change the price for the speed coil to 180 Robux, just to have a difference. And now I will script that if a player clicks a button, then they will get a pop up to buy the game pass, and if they buy it, then they get the item. So now I'm done with the scripts, and everything that you have to do is add a local script into your text button, and that's the script. <laughs> Instead of the scripts, then you can just paste it in here. So here you have to um, type your item name, and here your game pass idea. I have my items in the replicated storage, so you have to put your items in there too, and then you can just type your item name in here. It's basically everything. Also click on game settings and then security. I have enabled all of that, but you only need a lot to third party sales. I'm gonna click on play now. And if I buy speed coil, then I should get it. Yes, I do have it in my inventory and it's also working. But now I have to uh, do it so that um, you can close the frame. That is very easy. I'm also gonna skip that real quick. And once I'm done, then I'm gonna get back here. So, and now the button that is like the last thing I will do. So, first click on screen zoom eye on the plus, then add a text button. And now, again, you have to go to size to 0.1. And on the other side, 0 0.1 again. I'm gonna add the UI corner to be the same color again. And the background color, like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the frame again. I mean, with the text label. Then I'm gonna do the size real quick. background transparency 1 the same text label I mean font face and uh, text is gonna be uh, soft and instead of text label I meant text color I'm gonna do text scaled right here and that is my button so now, in your text button, click on a plus, select local script, delete the text, and paste this in here. It's also going to be in the description, or also in the model. So you can just download the model, or you can just paste it in the description. And the last thing will be to make the frame visible fonts. It's in the properties, and yeah, let's see. If I click on stop now, it's appearing. And if I click on it again, then it's gonna disappear. So again, I've got my coiler. It also works with the gravity coiler. And yes, now I have both my cones. Coils. You can do this with like every item, you just have to change the name. And for more tutorials like this, please like and subscribe to my channel. And bye!